Hey guys, welcome back to Willow Ridge Acres. It's been a while since we put out a video. We've got a lot going on here at the farm. We just had a couple goat babies born. And we've got two more of our female goats that are pregnant. So we're working on, and hi Mabel, yes I see you, I see you. And we always have our great Pyrenees that love us and we love them, uh, so they'll be in the video as well. But today we're gonna be working on building some shelters for our mamas, for our mama goats, and for the new babies to be born. Because as you can see, it's been kind of rainy and muddy and we're expecting a lot more rain uh, this coming week. And so we wanna make sure that our goats, our, our baby goats have plenty of, of uh, shelter from the rain. So follow along on the journey, let's go. All right, we're gonna be building these goat shelters out of free pallet wood that I got. And uh, it's super cheap and easy to make it out of pallet wood. I got a ton of it here in the truck. We're gonna to try to make just a couple of lean-tos out of the pallet wood, hoping that it turns out really good and a good shelter for the goats. You ready? Yep. Let's unload this. Screw it together. <laughs> All right, so we got some of the pallets carried in over here, and this is kind of the general idea of it. But uh, we're probably gonna, you know, some of the pallets are a little bit bigger than the other ones, so probably what we're gonna do is kind of test fit them, make sure that we're using ones that kind of make it square. It doesn't need to be perfect, but this is the general idea. It's gonna be a one stall like this, and another one right next to it, you know, coming off of here with another roof, and then we have some old metal. That we're going to throw on the top as a roof uh, just to keep them protected from the rain and then i also got enough pallets that we can rip some of the wood off of the extra pallets and use that to um, you know nail on and and cover up all the you know all the gaps that way it protects them from the wind so this is kind of the general idea but we're going to continue carrying all the pallets into here and then just kind of lay them out and try to get it is kind of straight and as square as possible. It all fell. What happened? <laughs> They gotta sniff every single one of them. You gotta inspect it, right? What does that one smell like? Is that one safe? Is it safe? Mabel, you're all dirty. You're all dirty since it's rained, huh? All right, so we have our drill, our screw gun, and a uh, bunch of screws. Super simple, nothing fancy. We're just gonna screw these you know, pallets together. I'm gonna start with this one corner and then just build off of that.
So we had all this extra metal laying around the farm from a uh, an old like farm building on another French property. Uh, one time years ago, he told me, if you just come and take the building down, you can have all the materials. So went over there and helped him take the, the building down and he had a ton of this metal roofing and it comes in handy for farm projects like this. So that's where we got it from. <clears throat> Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Over him. It'd be too long. Hey, it's feeding time. Let's go get the animals food ready. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That looks yummy. Oh, Mac. Well, it is actually the next day here. And last night I finished up the shelter I was making for the goats, for the mamas that have their babies. Uh, but it was getting a little too dark to continue to film it. And uh, 
the kids were also feeding the animals as it was getting dark. So let me show you what I got here. We made it out of the pallets like I was doing. We put a little metal roof on the top and it's kind of got two separate, um, I guess, stalls. And then inside, take you inside real quick. Inside one of them. <clears throat> We've got a little heat lamp in here and it's just a good little spot to you know get them out of the out of the wind out of the cold wind and out of the rain if it starts raining and it's supposed to rain a lot this week so this is coming uh at just the perfect time and honestly the timing couldn't be better because today <clears throat> while i was at church i got a text message from my wife from michelle saying that mabel one of our great pyrenees was barking like crazy towards the house trying to get her attention and so she sent Melissa out here, our daughter, to come check. And it appears that Matilda, one of the other mama goats, is currently in labor. And then our other mama goat that's also pregnant, Jojo, uh, she's starting to show a little bit of signs of labor. So uh, here's Jojo right there, and that's Matilda right there. So within the next, I don't know, any, any moment really, we could have some more goat babies and goat mamas. So this new shelter that we just made last night is gonna come in perfect timing uh, so that they can get in there and get away from the, the sun, or you know, really get away from the rain and uh, the cold. And it's supposed to rain a ton this coming week. So perfect timing. Well, it is the next day here again and still no baby goats from Jojo or from Matilda. We've been waiting. It seemed like they were in labor uh, two days ago. So we thought any day now we've got uh, baby goats coming, but still no signs of that just yet. So we're just waiting it out. Still cold and rainy here. So what we're actually going to do today is add a little bit more on to their goat shelter that we made. Uh, so it's prepared when they, when they have their babies. So at first I was kind of uh, satisfied, I guess you'd say, with the way it was looking, with kind of being open air with the pallets, but with the north breeze and it's getting a little cold, it does get a little breezy inside of the goat shelter. So what my plan is, I sourced uh, a few more pallets and I'm gonna strip some of the wood off of the extra pallets I've got and then just close off, you know, add some more boards to uh, just close it off completely. That way gives them a really good windbreak. And then we've got those heat lamps in there as well for them. So they'll stay really nice and dry. You can see Mabel has been <laughs> taking up shelter in here to get out of the cold and the rain. 
and Mabel approves of the uh, the goat shelter, don't you? Do you approve? Do you approve, Mabel? <laughs> She's probably tired. So we're gonna get to work on that. All right, we got it all finished. We got the walls nice and sealed up now so it stays nice and warm in there. Meredith is in there checking it out, staying warm in this cold, wet weather. Uh, so that's gonna be it for today's video. We sure hope that you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, we've got more baby goats being born soon. We also have some awesome videos planned for you in the near future, so stay tuned. Make sure you hit like and subscribe so you don't miss the next time we drop a video. Have a good one.